Let's walk through our four position exam maneuver. Lay the baby on the exam table in the supine position. Next is the pull to sit maneuver. Pull the baby to a seated position from supine positioning. The third position is horizontal suspension. You will lift the baby and hold the baby above the exam table. The last position is prone. Gently place the baby onto the exam table on their tummy and observe the baby's movements. In the supine position, this typically developing six-month-old baby is able to hold their head in midline and turn their head and neck from side to side to follow an object. The baby reaches, grasps, transfers, and explores with their arms in a well-coordinated movement. The baby symmetrically lifts the upper and lower extremities against gravity and can bring their hands and feet together. The baby has increased control of the trunk muscles and tries to roll from side to side. This atypically developing six-month-old baby is lying supine and rarely demonstrates anti-gravity movements of the arms, legs, hips, or trunk. There is little engagement of the abdominal and core musculature and the baby isn't attempting to roll over. While the baby is visually engaged, they aren't turning their head side to side to follow an object and they aren't reaching or grasping objects. In a pull to sit maneuver, this typically developing six month old baby actively uses their upper extremities and abdominal muscles to assist the pull while flexing the neck and lifting the head to assist the maneuver. Once sitting, the baby is able to hold their head up consistently. While in the sitting position, the baby's hips stay planted and the baby is able to achieve stabilization in the sitting position with minimal support at the hips or from the baby's hands. This atypically developing six-month-old baby demonstrates head lag and does not use their neck muscles to assist in holding the head up during the pull-to-sit maneuver. There is little flexion of the arms and shoulder girdle to assist the maneuver. Once in the sitting position, the baby has difficulty holding the head up consistently and the baby requires examiner support throughout the hips and trunk which appear rounded and not consistently engaged to help stabilize the baby. When held in suspension, this typically developing six-month-old baby demonstrates full sustained extension in the neck and upper thoracic spine down through their hips and legs which are also extended. The baby is able to move their arms and legs against gravity. This atypically developing six-month-old baby is only briefly able to lift their head symmetrically in midline and extend through the upper thoracic spine and hips and instead there is a rounded C-shaped appearance of the neck, trunk, and hips with little anti-gravity tone. The baby makes little anti-gravity movement with their arms and legs. While in the prone position, this typically developing six-month-old baby is able to hold their head up in full extension through the neck and trunk. The baby is able to turn their head to follow objects and reach toward objects while using their core muscles to stabilize the body in this position. This atypically developing six-month-old baby is unable to hold the head up consistently and does not turn the head side to side to follow objects. The baby may kick with the lower extremities to achieve movement, but doesn't demonstrate the hip flexion and core extension needed to allow the arms to clear to reach for objects. Some non-motor milestones typical of this age group include knowing familiar faces and beginning to know if someone is a stranger, enjoying playing with others, especially family members, responding to other people's emotions and often seeming happy, enjoying looking at the reflection in a mirror, responding to sounds by making sounds, stringing vowels or consonants together when babbling, taking turns with caregivers while making sounds, responding to their name, making sounds to show joy and displeasure, looking around at things nearby, showing curiosity at things and trying to get things that are out of reach, and beginning to pass objects from one hand to the other. Let's review some of the red flags for this age. There are a couple of red flags to look for in a six month baby exam. These include the baby cannot hold their head up consistently while sitting, and 
they cannot roll over in either direction. 